Good morning and welcome to my plan with me video. My name is Janelle and I'm with the stickermama.com and today I'll be planning for the month of April. Alright, so let's go over the sheets I'll be using to set up my whole month of April. First off is the monthly um, CO4A and a CO4 Extra. Each of these sheets are sold separately. Um, for the this sheet here, we have two large headers, 1.37 by 6.5. We have two washies at a quarter inch and 6.5. Some uh, date flags with some extras here that you can use to plan your month. We have these planner words here, this month, notes, goals, and events, go right here on the sidebar. Then we have some other planner words that are the holidays that follow within the month, and some icon decos, stickers. Okay, now for the extra sheet, we have two more washi strips. We have a long sticker here for the sidebar. Sorry, we also have 20 quarter boxes and some planner words there on the bottom of that sheet. So that'll go there. Now, head, turning back a page to the dashboard or productivity dashboard, this is PO4 new. This is a newer layout of, um, available on my Etsy. So this sticker for here, birthdays, events, those types of items. We have a goals sticker to cover up that side there. Um, the next box is notes, and then my favorite is the habit tracker for the bottom. That covers the whole bottom down there, gives you seven lines for tracking whatever you like to track for the, every day. All right, my next set is um, BO4. There's A, B, oops, these are out of order, sorry. Um, there's four, A, B, C, and D. So sheet A is um, the budget sheet. So I like to put it, um, here's a hexagon, we have the month, and then we have these strips that you can lay down, um, header strips here, that have that you can lay out onto any paper. Um, but I use this lined sheet here. You have income, total income, so you can decide how many lines you need for those two items. And what your estimated actual, and if you're over or under for each of those categories, then we have it from, same thing expenses, savings, etc. So I really love that sheet and like I said I put it on the line sheet of paper. On the dot grid here I go ahead and use the other three sheets so B, C, and E. So really quick B is sinking funds. So this and this I'll just show you here how these all come off here. Alright so I use um, categories like property tax, gifts, vacations, whatever you plan for and put money into every month, you'll put here. So you have places to put all of those items and tally them up. And that is this line section here. You can easily trim with a paper trimmer to do how many lines you need for this section, seeking funds. So I only use four, so you'll see me cut that. And then I can use those other four lines somewhere else. Okay, now debt tracker for any debt you have. So for myself, I again will track for four lines. I have, we put the debt, how much you're beginning, paid, interest, um, and you add those columns up like so. Again, each of these come off, and again, you can cut and customize it. And last is weekly spending. This is the item I use most of. So I use all of those lines plus whatever lines I use, have left over, I mean, from B and C. And you list by category, week one, week two, three, four, and five. And then you can total them. So you know how much you spend per week total. All right, so that is there. All right, so that's kind of the sheets I use. I just wanted to cover that really quick. And now I'm going to go ahead and start planning. All right, we're going to pull off the large headers that I place carefully line them up to the lines of the month um, and stick it down just like uh, this is forgiving this is just regular matte sticker paper um, I do do a removable mat as well I find that if like I just did you can stick um, pull it up if you've made a mistake and want to realign it 
Um, as long as you don't press it all the way down like I'm doing now, it'll it removes pretty easily. The only thing I sometimes find is that it will curl the paper or the sticker afterwards. So sometimes putting it back down if you have to re bring it up uh, makes it a little bit difficult to line everything up. All right, just like that. Now next are these, I'm gonna cover the full boxes. So this one here will cover up the March dates that are in the April calendar at the beginning here. I don't care to have that. I would rather have a little bit more pop of color. I don't necessarily need to have March dates in my calendar. All right, and then this one over here, we'll do the bottom right for May. So I'll just stick that over here. Just like so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video now. I'm just gonna put down the washi strips and stick down all the date flags and then put in the um, holidays and what whatnot, and the icons. And one tip that I use for the flags is, that you'll see me use, um, I do use tweezers for that. That helps um, make it go a little faster as you can, you'll see. those little date flags down. Now I'm going to grab my extra sheet and be putting this long sticker on the sidebar so I can finish off um, with those planner words. All right, some days it takes me longer than others to get this lined up nicely. Come on, work with me. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this all the way down on the sidebar, like so. All right, and now I will place um, this month towards the top. Right, yep, right here. And then I'll put the notes down towards the bottom. This is where maybe I'll note items um, after the month happens. Maybe so I can look back on for the fall, you know, for next year. Okay, and then events, and then after that is goals. Not a lot of events, so I'll kind of put goals more towards the top. And all right. So that is, um, I have all the quarter fly or quarter boxes, I'm sorry, that I can place down and the bill pay later when I start to write in it. But that's at least how I set it up. Now I'm going to move on to the productivity dashboard. Remove this long sticker here. And I'll go ahead and pause the video too and um, speed it up with me just placing these stickers down. Productivity page done. Now I'm going to move over to the line sheet before the monthly tab and set up my budget. Okay. And so budget page is finished. Now I'll go ahead and open up to the dots grid, dot grid page and go ahead and place down the other three. Okay, so sheet B 
is the Seeking Funds. So I'm going to place this header towards the top of the page and over. That way I can get as much space on this page as possible. And all right. In a minute, I'm going to go ahead and trim some of these white lines so I can show you how to do that. I what I was talking about trimming, and then we'll go ahead and speed up the video so you don't have to watch me com totally complete this. But I'm going to take four lines from this sheet, um, and then leaves me four lines, and I'll use that with the following section, which will be debt tracking. I only need four, so I'm able to use four and four. All right, so here's where I'm going to do the paper cutting, and I'll go ahead and speed it up um, too. going to place all eight of this line for my weekly spending. I need as many lines as I can on this section because I will list all my categories of all of my expenses um, like housing, utilities, food, those type of things will all list under on this section. So I need as many lines as possible. Oh boy this isn't See, I can pull this up and it doesn't rip the page and still lay down. Like I said, a little bit, it's it's pretty forgiving for not being removable. Okay, now from this point, I'm going to work from the bottom down. Oh, oh, no, not this one. Okay, the bottom one. It said bottom and my mind went to the next one. Okay, very bottom down here. Line this up. And then that way I can put in, measure how many lines I still can use. So you'll see how I finish that up too. Sorry, there was a little glitch at the end there, but um, this is my monthly spread. And then here is the productivity dashboard. We have our events, a couple goals, a quote for the month, and some habits that I'll be tracking. On our next page here, seeking funds. We can write the category, what you start, what you added, what you took out, and what you ended with. Debt tracker, my debts, what I began, paid, interest, and ended the balances with, and total them up here. All of the categories for expenses. These categories also match on my budget sheet. So those and these are going to be same on all the weeks, how much we spent in each of those categories each week, and then we can total it off. All right, and this is my budget. So I have my salary, my total income, all my expenses, and again, those coincide to this um, weekly spending here. Actual estimate, actual, and what I, uh, over and under. My savings account, my two lines, my capital one are my seeking funds. I have online savings accounts for those. So that number should act match this actual number here. And then my other savings account. All right, so that is it for this month. Thank you so much for watching.